after we do the special right triangles in chapter eight, we start looking at how right triangles play a part in finding different ratios for their side lengths. In trigonometry, we start with very basic ratios, tangent, sine, and cosine. And the three ratios are using the hypotenuse, the opposite side, and the adjacent side of the angle that you're trying to find. In this case, we're trying to find the angle here on the left. And for each one of those, the angle can be found knowing two other things in terms of their side lengths. For sine, we would need to know the opposite side value and the hypotenuse value of the right triangle. And with the ratio, we could create um, a decimal value, which has a corresponding angle value in a chart you will see in a minute. Cosine would be the ratio of the adjacent and the hypotenuse. And the tangent ratio, which is what we'll discuss today, is the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. Each one of the angles we'll talk about could be anything except for the right angle. Obviously, the right angle, the opposite and adjacent, and the hypotenuse are all the same, but we know the value of the right angle. So we would only be finding the other two angles of the right triangle. Here's the tangent ratio. If we're trying to find this angle here, we take the opposite leg value and divide it by the adjacent leg value, and that gives us a decimal. On page 311, there's the table that has the sine, cosine, and tangent decimals and corresponding angles. This table just has the decimals for tangent. So if we were to take the, the decimal value for any one of the adjacent and opposite sides when they are divided, you'll look and find the closest one that you have in each one of these columns. Once you have that ratio and the decimal version of that ratio, you have the corresponding angle in degrees, closest to the number of degrees, in for that angle. The decimal version for 5 twelfths, which would be the tangent of angle A, is 0.4166. If we go to the table, 0.4166 is closest to one of these two angles, 22 or 23 degrees. And at this point, your job, your job is to find the closest decimal to 0.4166. Once you've found that, you can then go to the degree measurement across from it, and that is the degree of your tangent for angle A. Tangent C is simply the reciprocal of that because now the opposite side is BA at 12 and the adjacent side is 5. So 12 fifths is 2.4. We go back to the table and find that 2.4 is closest to, it's actually 67 degrees, 2.3558. So 67 degrees would be the other angle. Now you could obviously know that they're also complementary and find the closest pair of 67 and 23 degrees to find that those two angles would be complementary as well. Take a second and find the tangent ratios for angles X and Y in numbers one through four on your worksheet. Now using the table or the table that's on page 311, complete numbers five through 10 by finding the missing value as the corresponding we can also find a missing side length if we only have one of the sides and an angle. For instance, if we knew that one of the angles was 56 degrees, we obviously would know that the other one would be 34. So we could use the 56 degrees and the tangent ratio using y as a missing variable and 32 as the adjacent side. From there, you could solve algebraically finding the tangent of angle A which would be 56 degrees. And then from there, you would find the decimal version and solve for y accordingly. Take a second and see if you can solve for y. All right, so if we use the formula, the tangent of angle A equals the opposite over the adjacent, we would substitute in and find that the tangent of 56 degrees equals y divided by 32. From there, to solve for y, we would multiply both sides by 32, and then find the tangent of 56 degrees as a decimal version from the chart, 
which is 1.4826. And then all you'd have to do is multiply the two together and find that y is approximately 47.4. Most of the time, we're going to round it to the nearest tenth as a direction, say, or even to the nearest whole number. In this case, y would equal 47.4. And you have your value for those. From there, you could solve for the hypotenuse if you'd like using the Pythagorean theorem. And then when we learn the other ratios, you can also use those to solve for the hypotenuse as well. Take a second and answer questions 11 through 14 by finding the missing side using the same uh, steps. On your calculator, there's a function, the tangent button. And depending on what you're looking for, if you need to find the ratio, the tangent of 30, of 30 degrees, if you typed that in, you would get the decimal version of that ratio that corresponds to the table on page 311. If you wanted to find the angle that corresponds to the tangent of 0.5744, you would type in the inverse, which is the second button followed by the tangent button. So the inverse of the tangent will find you the angle. The regular tangent button will find you the decimal version. So depending on what you're looking for, you would then be able to use that function to solve. Take a second and answer the rest of the questions, 15 through 18, on the worksheet, and come with any questions tomorrow you may have.